Elon Musk and Sam Altman are going head-to-head -head with their latest AI video generators. And you might be wondering, which one is actually worth your time and money? Well, I've been testing both OpenAI's Sora 2 and Elon Musk's Grok 4 with dozens of challenging prompts. And here's what I discovered. The results completely surprised me. There's no clear winner, but there is a perfect tool for you. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how these two cutting edge AI models stack up against each other. We'll compare their quality, speed, control features, and pricing so that you can make the right choice for your needs, whether you're a casual creator or planning to use these tools professionally. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which model deserves your attention. Let's start with what makes each of these tools unique. Introduction to Sora 2 and Grok 4. Before we dive into the comparison, you need to understand what these tools actually are, because they're not just different versions of the same thing. Sora 2 is OpenAI's latest text-to-video model that launched in late 2025. But here's where it gets interesting. It's not just a model. OpenAI has built an entire ecosystem around it, including an invite-only app and web platform. They're essentially giving you a mini movie studio powered by AI. What makes Sora too special is its focus on cinematic realism. You describe a scene, and Sora 2 will direct it, film it, and even add synchronized audio all in one go. And when I say audio, I'm talking about dialogue with lip sync, sound effects, and background music that actually matches what's happening on screen. OpenAI has even added a feature called Cameos, where you can put yourself into the video with strict consent controls. Grok 4 takes a completely different approach. It comes from Elon Musk's company XAI and is a multimodal AI model, the brains behind XAI's chatbot and its creative tools. In July 2025, just four months after Grok 3, which is absolutely insane, Musk's team debuted Grok 4, for image and video generation specifically, XAI rolled out Grok Imagine, which uses the Grok 4 model to turn text or image prompts into visuals. But here's the kicker, and this is where Musk being Musk really shows. Grok Imagine is relatively uncensored. It even launched with a spicy mode, allowing some NSFW content within moderation. That's a stark contrast to OpenAI's stricter content filters. So remember, Sora 2 is specialized for high-fidelity video generation with Hollywood-level polish, while Grok 4 is a jack-of-all-trades AI with Grok Imagine as its video generator interface. Visual quality and style. All right, now let's talk about what really matters. How do these videos actually look? And this is where things get really interesting, because Sora 2 and Grok Imagine have distinctly different personalities when it comes to visual style. Reviewers who tested them head-to-head -head noticed a clear pattern. Sora 2 excels at realism and cinematic polish, while Grok leans into creativity and bold style. Sora has been trained to respect real-world physics, maintain object permanence across shots, and produce smooth, coherent motion. But here's where Grok's different approach comes into play. In that same Hummingbird example, Grok Imagine delivered vibrant colors and a pretty scene, but the physics were a bit off. The dewdrops looked oversized and fell more like little marbles than mist. The overall feel was slightly animated or magical, not as natural as Sora's. Now before you think that makes Grok inferior, wait until you see this. This artistic bend can actually be a huge plus for certain prompts. When one tester asked for a dreamlike fantasy scene, a white fox with glowing blue eyes walking through an enchanted foggy forest with luminous butterflies, Grok fully embraced the fantasy. The video looked like a page from a storybook with glowing colors, painterly textures, and a surreal haze. It was downright mesmerizing to watch. Sora's take on the same prompt was more grounded and realistic, but lacked that ethereal magic. So here's how I think about it. Sora 2 is the perfectionist filmmaker aiming for physical accuracy and detail. 
Gruck Imagine is the imaginative artist willing to bend reality for style. If you need surreal, meme-ready visuals or stylistic flair that pops, Grok might be your go-to. But if you're after lifelike imagery, smooth motion, and cinematic detail, Sora 2 steals the show. I need to be honest with you about something though. Faces and people remain challenging for both. Grok's generated humans can dip into the uncanny valley with waxy skin at times, and Sora can produce unnatural human faces on close-ups so neither is about to replace real actors just yet, but they're getting scarily good for many scenes. Audio, control, and key features. Let me tell you about one of the biggest advancements. These models don't just create silent videos, they generate sound and speech to match. Sora 2 generates synchronized audio on the fly, including dialogue that matches lip movements, sound effects, and background music all timed perfectly with the video. This is massive because earlier models made you add sound, later in post-production. Grok Imagine also supports audio in its videos, up to 6 seconds for free users and 15 seconds for premium users with sound effects and music. Now let's talk about control, because this is crucial. Sora 2 was built with controllability in mind. You can reliably ask for specific camera movements, shot types, or visual styles and Sora will obey. Want a close-up, a wide shot, anime style versus photorealistic? You can specify that in your prompt. The ultimate control feature is the self-insertion cameo. Users can literally direct Sora 2 to cast them in the video by providing a short sample of their voice and video. Imagine writing a short film and starring in it without ever stepping in front of a camera. Grok's philosophy under Musk has been about giving users freedom, sometimes at the cost of precision. When you prompt Grok Imagine, it may take more creative liberty, unless you're very specific. In tests, Grok occasionally missed minor details, but where Grok shines is surprising you with imaginative output. Sometimes it will add cool camera movements or artistic flair even if you didn't explicitly ask. One more crucial difference, content freedom. XAI's Grok is less filtered with that spicy mode for mild NSFW imagery. OpenAI's Sora won't generate violent, sexual, or celebrity-related content. It's a safety-first versus freedom-first approach showing up in their products. Speed, performance, and pricing. Let's talk about speed because time is money. Elon Musk recently bragged that Grok 4 Fast Mode can produce a video in under 15 seconds. That's incredibly fast, and in live demos, images appeared almost instantly. Sora 2, being high resolution and audio integrated, might take tens of seconds to generate a short clip, though OpenAI offers a Sora 2 Pro version for ChatGPT Pro users with faster processing. Here's the capacity breakdown. Sora can generate clips around 10 to 20 seconds, with pro users potentially getting longer sequences. Grok Imagine offers about 6 seconds for free users and up to 15 seconds for premium. Neither model is slow, considering the task complexity. We're no longer waiting hours, it's down to seconds or maybe a minute max. Now for pricing. OpenAI has made Sora 2 somewhat exclusive at launch. It's available via an invite-only iOS app currently in the U.S. and Canada with a waitlist. If you're a ChatGPT Pro subscriber at $200 per month, you get priority access and an enhanced Sora 2 Pro model. Third-party services offer access at around $0.16 cents per generation. In other words, Sora 2 isn't broadly free. Grok is integrated into the X Premium subscription model. As of now, Grok Imagine offers a free tier where anyone can generate short, 6-second videos without charge. To unlock longer 15-second videos, higher resolution, and higher monthly limits, you'd need to pay for premium service, likely through X Premium Plus at around $16 per month. So the bottom line? Sora 2 is more locked down and premium, aimed at those willing to invest. Grok Imagine uses a freemium model giving everyone a taste and hoping to upsell for heavy use. Conclusion All right, let me bring this all together. Sora 2 from OpenAI is all about realism, precision, 
and cinematic quality, like having a meticulous director at your command. It follows your script closely, delivers beautiful visuals with synchronized sound, and even lets you put yourself in the picture. The trade-off is a more controlled environment with content restrictions and premium pricing. Grok 4 Plus, Imagine from XAI, is about bold creativity, speed, and user freedom, the imaginative artist that might surprise you. It generates content lightning fast, offers more flexibility with content, and produces visually striking results. It's evolving at a crazy pace thanks to Musk's fast-tracking approach. Your choice comes down to your use case. Want hyper-realistic professional content? Sora 2. Want funky, out-of-the-box visuals or quick social media clips? Grok Imagine. Willing to pay premium for top-tier quality? OpenAI. Want to experiment with a free tier? XAI's approach might suit you better. One thing is certain. The fact we can compare these two futuristic tools in 2025 is astonishing. The AI video generation race is on, and we as users are reaping the benefits. So here's my question for you. Which AI are you most excited about trying? Are you Team Sora for that cinematic realism, or Team Grok for bold creativity? Drop a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, and remember, the future of video creation isn't just coming, it's already here. Stay creative, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next one.